In this video we will learn how to remove laser jet printer ink from paper and write a different word on its place. See Emma name is written here. We will erase Emma name from here and replace it with new name Olivia. We have two methods to do this. In this video we will learn method number one. First of all let me tell you the things you need. First you need a shaving blade. Which we use to shave. Secondly, you need a rubber eraser that children use with lead pencil. Put the blade on the text, neither right nor left. It should be at a 90 degree angle. And then you start rubbing the paper. As soon as you do this, the surface of the applied paper will begin to peel off. Blow the waste. Use a rubber eraser after blowing. So that this place is clean. Also blow out the rubber eraser debris. Then all the steps started from the beginning. First we will rub it with a blade. So that the layer of writing is removed from the page. The writing of a laser jet printer is always on the top layer of the page so it can be erased. While the writing of ink jet is absorbed in the page, it cannot be erased in this way. Now we will blow again. This will clear it. Then a rubber eraser will be used. and then his garbage will be blown away. Now most of the writing is gone. There is very little. Now we will only target the area where the ink is present. Some are here and some are here. We will not rub the whole place. Using only one corner of the blade, rub only where the ink is. Then we will blow it. You know that rubber erasers are used after blowing. This method is very simple. Now I will point to the side where these black dots are. We are no longer using the whole blade. Using only one corner of the blade. And we are only using it in one direction. Now we are not rubbing it on both sides like before. Now almost has finished. There are only very fine dots. Now we will clean them too. This task is very sensitive. Do it with great care. You should not press the blade against the page otherwise it will damage the paper. Do it very slowly. These micro ink dot remain we will remove it too. Now the name has disappeared from our page. And our paper didn't go damaged at all. Open Adobe Photoshop in your computer. Create a new file here as there is an A4 size. In this new Photoshop file, we will write the same name that we want to enter in our document. For example, O-L-I-V-I-A. Olivia. Zoom in and meditate. Its font style is Arial, while the font style used in our document was Time New Roman. We also make its font style Time New Roman. Now we will press the ALT key from the keyboard and pick up the name and move it forward, it will become a new copy. I will press ALT and pick it up and put it next, then new copies will be made. We need to make copies of this one word Olivia by the end of the page. Don't worry, you'll find out soon enough the reason of it. Copies have been made to the end of the page. Go to the first word of the page and select the second word. See, the font size here is 10, so we increase it to 10.5. Next to this would 11 instead of 10.5. We will do 11.5 of the word that comes after that. We will increase the font size of each subsequent one by 0.5. And that's what we're going to do at the end of the page. It used to be 11.5 so now we will make it 12. The next one should be 12.5. This series will continue until the end of the page. We are increasing every later one. We will use one word from all this writing. The size will be exactly according to our document. Go to the next one and increase its size. We will increase the size of the last one to 15.5. Now press the control button on the keyboard with one of your hands and select all these layers. The layer you click on will be selected. Select all the layers of this text. Then you press the E while pressing the control. The all layers will merge together. All will become one layer. Go to image. Image rotation. Flip canvas horizontal. 
Now this writing is reversed. As we see inside the mirror. Use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move it right in the middle of the page. Press Ctrl plus P from your computer and print it. Take a white page. And take a 2 inch transparent tape. Place the page in front of you and tape it right in the middle. Apply in such a way that no bubbles fall inside it. And don't fall. No problem if there is too little bubbling but there should not be too much. You can use heat proof tape for even better results. Cut the tape on both sides according to the paper. It's a simple piece of paper and we've got a transparent 2 inch tab in the middle. Now we will put it inside the printer machine. The print command we just gave it will be printed. Very nice. This is a glass box. If you do not have a glass case, you can use a laptop screen, a mobile phone flashlight, or any other bright object. We can also put our hands inside this box. This is its outer surface. This is an energy saver bulb. We will put it inside the box and then light it. Once the bulb is lit, you first place your letter document on the glass. Put the page that we just printed in reverse font upside down. When we turn the page upside down, we can see the text directly when the light falls from below. Evaluate all font sizes to see which font size corresponds to our letter document. They are all small. It's too small. Let's move on. Check out the next one. Yes. This is the best. This font size matches our letter document perfectly. Both are the same size. Perfect. We will use this writing. Here we mark with a pencil so that we do not forget what we chose. Pick up the font page. Pick up the letter. Below is our bulb. We marked here. Cut out this place and separate it from the rest of the page. We will transfer this writing to our document. Cut off the sides and separate the slip into a rectangle. We are separating this slip of paper from the rest of the page. Now we will stick it here. Place the first letter document on top of the light box for pasting. Put this slip upside down in the same place where we have to move our writing. Place this slip where it meets the document completely. This is a great place I think. We'll keep it here. Here we will take both sides of it. We will apply the same tape that the doctor uses. So that it can go down easily later. Put one on top and one on the bottom. That's enough. Now place another piece of paper in this place. And then turn the hot iron on it. The ironing should not be too hot. Iron should be less warm than used on clothes. To get an accurate idea of the temperature of the iron. First try to make it exactly like this by applying transparent tape on a rough paper. Otherwise, more or less heat can make things worse. You should not iron for more than 20 or 25 seconds. Here I put it on and then slowly turn it down. Then I put it up and slowly lower it. Now I pick it up. I will not go further than that. Now we pick up this paper. We also remove the tape from below. And then we separate this slip as well. And see below how our writing has transferred. See. Writing has been completely transferred to paper. You are watching there is no difference. This work has been done in the good possible way. Below you can see the signature that proves that this is the same paper that was in the beginning. No one can recognize this change without telling. If you zoom in, you will still find it better. And you won't find the difference. There is no difference at all. Friends, I would advise you to practice this 5 or 10 times on rough paper before doing this work on your original document. Once you've mastered it, work on your original document. Don't apply on your original paper for the first time. Because it requires first practice to work. This is my advice to you. Thanks a lot for watching. We have done 100 experiments and discover this one for you. 
If you like our efforts we will be very happy. Bye.